Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. If you're new here, my name is Maria and in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys because I am doing some more Halloween DIYs. These are some Hocus Pocus inspired and I really like how these turned out. So I hope you guys did too. And if you do, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notified every time I upload. With that being said, now let's go. For my first DIY, I will be using these Halloween wood cutouts and these little hats that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to start off by removing the tags and gluing these together using hot glue. Since this is a Hocus Pocus sign and I don't have a third witch, I will be making my own using these little hats. I'm going to glue them together and one the bottom hat will be the face of the witch and I am going to use an extra decor piece that I already had to make the body. To make the body I will be placing the hat on top of my sign and then I'm going to start by drawing the little hair. After that I'm going to draw the coat. Using some scissors I'm going to cut it out. I will be trimming the hat off so like that it can make it look more like a face. It kind of did make it look like it had a big old chin but it was way too big so I did end up taking it off. Using hot glue I'm going to glue the headpiece to the body. Before. I glue Winifred Sanderson to the rest of her sisters. I am going to paint them using these three colors. I am using a purple, green, and red. I will leave all the names down in the description box. I'm going to start with painting all their dresses but first I'm going to start with Winifred and I am using a green color to paint her dress. Sarah's dress is going to be purple and then Mary's dress is going to be red. The next thing I will be doing is painting their hair and I'm going to start with her again and I am going to paint it orange. Sarah's hair is going to be blonde so I am going to use a yellow. For Mary's hair I'm going to use black and since I already have the black out I'm going to paint their hat. I'm going to paint the pot black and the spoons brown. For the faces, I will be using a vanilla color. The next thing I will be doing is 
transferring this hocus pocus and i got this from picolage the font name is king basil i'm going to flip the paper around and scribble with a pencil and then turn it back around and start tracing it and look how clearly you can see this i just love transferring words i finally got me a paint marker so i'm so happy i am using this it is so much easier to use a paint marker but you can always use a paintbrush it just has to be like really tiny and then i did have to go over this twice so it can be more white and the next thing i will be doing is just adding her in the back using hot glue i then went ahead and added some details just here and there using the white marker and a black marker For the stand, I will be using this long decor sign that I got from Dollar Tree. I did use this in one of my previous videos, so I am going to repaint it using the Waverly Chalk Paint in white. Once again, I'm going to transfer the words and I use Pic Collage and I will leave all the font names down in the description box. But I am going to cut them out so like that I can spread them apart. The next thing I will be doing is scribbling the back and then transferring the words by tracing the letters. I will be going over the letters using a black paint marker. And this is how it looks. The next thing I will be doing is adding the little witches to the stand and I will be using some Jenga blocks. I felt like the I Smell Children stand was too plain so I did add some little branches that I took off from this floral. I added one on each side. And I also cut some little pieces and added them to the eyes. And this is how my Hocus Pocus sign turned out. I absolutely love this. I actually made one last year so I will have that link down in the description box just in case you want to check that out. For my second DIY, I'm going to use this Dollar Tree Halloween wood decor. I'm going to remove the tags and then I'm going to remove the little banner. I felt like it was crooked and I wanted it just to center it so I did remove it. I'm going to start off by painting the pot black. For the leggings, I will be making stripes, so I'm going to start with black first and then I'm going to fill in the rest with orange. As you can see, I did try to use tape, but that didn't work, so I just didn't use anything and I just painted it orange and then I went back with the black and just fixed it a little bit more.
using the same orange, I'm going to paint the banner. I am also painting the buckles of the shoes using white. I will be adding the word witch with these Wama stickers and with the paint marker I added the is in. And I used a paint stick for the stand and added some Jenga blocks to the back. I also added this little cute Rifa bow that I already had. And look how cute this little the witch is in decor sign turned out. For my third and last DIY, I will be using this little Dollar Tree House Halloween decor sign in this little mini broken plaque that I got from my ghost. The first thing I will be doing is removing the tag and painting this little cute house using my Waverly chalk paint in white. To make this more old and spooky, I'm going to distress all the edges using black and since I had the black out, I decided to paint the little black. For the word Sanderson's Inn, I will be using these Dollar Tree stencils and I'm going to use my white paint marker. For the stand, I will be using a piece of paint stick and I'm going to paint this black. I have some little extra hats so I did decide to use one of them and I am also painting this black. Using this Hobby Lobby ribbon, I'm going to make a bow and put it on the hat. And look how cute this little hat turned out with this little cute bow. Now that I have all my pieces together, I'm going to start gluing them. And I'm going to start with the sign. I'm going to glue it in the middle of the hotel or the little house. And the hat, I'm going to glue it at the top. And then I'm going to glue it to the stand using Jenga blocks. I made this little cute broom out of a little tassel and a piece of score stick and I'm going to add it right there. I am adding this little bat and a spider this is actually a spider ring all i did was just put it in there and that is it for this sanderson's in hotel i just love how this turned down and it was so easy and so inexpensive to make and that is it guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye.